get back together. I want you guys to get back together. What are you talking about? You guys are on tour. You're breaking up you, with the Beastie Boys. You, you're still touring, talking. Yeah, right. We heard this breakup stuff from groups before. You guys are not breaking up. And it was like, yeah, for real, this is, this is it for us. I think the group thing, why it doesn't work and they can't keep it together in hip hop is because they come from the bottom, they grow up, and you're growing up in different speeds. Especially when you have a bunch of like, like, what do you call it, like dominant personalities, you know, which makes the best groups. You know, it's kind of like the couple you know that got married way too early, and then they just outgrew each other, and they grew in different directions, really, is a better way to put it. And I think that's what happens. The, the interesting thing that all these groups, EPMD, Grand Nubians, whatever, they all break up because either one is nicer than the other, or they're not, as a group, they're a group on record, and you think that they're hanging with each other every day, they are absolutely not hanging with each other. His egos, man, you know what I'm saying? And before it happened with me and CL, it happened with EPMD. And when, when the EPMD thing happened, everybody was like, oh my God, get out of here, what? Usually it's monetary and recognition. Because everybody wants to be recognized with individual talents. They like the collective you know, idea of, yeah, we're this, this group, but there's always a standout. And sometimes with the standout, I'm not saying any names for anybody in the group, but this happens in, in most situations, is, you know, they get more of attention. Sometimes it gets to your head. Opportunity presents itself, and then you start making money you never made before, and you start behaving in a way where you never behaved before. What, what happened to you before you started making this money? What happened to that person? I come to find out, you know, like dealing with my partner and I'll break up like this. He's talking about shit from like 91, 92, 93. I'm like, yo, what the fuck are you talking about? You know, we've had fist fights over, you know, who drank all the rice milk. Where the fuck my Captain Crunch at? Oh, damn, Mason's smoking weed again. Yo, Merce is doing that again. He's just, you know, he's just being extra clean. First of all, we were children. Second of all, like, you know, what the fuck are you talking about? Where's my Chappelle DVD? And it's like the smallest things will make a motherfucker snap. Well, it's real hard to come across a successful group. Why? Because it's hard being a group. It's just two of us and it's sometimes hard. If you around each other 24 seven, those long bus rides. I mean, we're together at least 10 hours a day. There's no need to be together 22 hours a day. There were times where I was like, yo, I'm hopping on a plane today. I don't feel like being around niggas today. I'll see y'all on stage. It was just like that sometimes. It's no disrespect or nothing. You just need that air to breathe sometimes. You know, ventilation. When you go here, they're here. When you're there, you're there. And then there's no escaping this person. This person like your shadow. You know, I mean, just imagine if you had to be with your brother and sister and cousins every single day, and that was, you know, like your your meal ticket, like your bread and butter making your paper depending on that. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, you're gonna, it's gonna be issues. And the question is, how much are you willing to go, how, how willing, how far are you willing to be pushed before your point breaks? There's been shows that this motherfucker don't, don't end up and end up showing up or, and the motherfucker's like, yo, if he ain't here in five minutes, I gotta cut you guys off the line. We had a big show on BB Kings, and I was like, fuck it. I went up there, boom, we just banged it out. By yourself? By myself, me and, and a couple of friends. You know, because, I don't know, shit happens. But the show, to me, must go on. The show must go on. But I have to respect some groups that, even though they have differences, that still know how to work good to this day. That one thing got nothing to do with the other. You know, they probably don't see eye to eye, but when they get on that stage, you can't tell. It's like being married to several people at once. You know, there's so much that you have to work on constantly uh, with your relationships with each person to make it work, to make it last. The Roots is a business, and like, I mean, at this point, Quest Love and I come together you know, for the greater good of the business. A lot of the groups that are out there, a lot of the heritage artists that still do big shows, they basically hate each other. It's well documented. They, they have uh, a lot of acrimony and hatred towards each other, but they get together for business, not so much to make records anymore, but just to tour. It's not like we don't interact, you know what I mean? We have barbecues and game night or whatever like that, you know, it's still fun shit, it's a family. It's like your brothers, man. And, and, and outside of all that, the, the good shit shine through all the, like, I can't even call it bad shit, it's just the, just the necessary obstacles just to jump over them, just to say you did it. The Smiths, you know, Morrissey by himself is very different than the Smiths. 
Um, it's the same songwriting, but it's not the same guitar. Johnny Marr was a big part of the Smith sound, you know? And it's just not always the same dynamic afterwards, and sometimes the compromise is what people love. The compromise product, the final product of, of the compromise is what makes it great. We fight like brothers, and at the end of the day, you gotta look at the bigger picture, man. It's about, like in our case, it's about the beat nuts. To the people, it's bigger than any fight. Um, the BC Boys are like the perfect example of how, I mean, their, their dynamic is so amazing, and to see them even now, it's like they've got it. Like Tribe are not alone. There's a long list of groups that you could point to that are probably incredible groups that, you know, it's not like they even have any love for each other, but but somehow there's something that happens. <laughs> Some magic. You up. <laughs> Some... They might no, have kill each other secretly for years <laughs> and years. Honestly, you'd be hard pressed to come up with, with some groups that do get along. Yeah. I mean, we're probably like, we're weirdos. I mean, we're weirdos anyway, but like, that we've actually stayed together for as long as we have and, and you know, we work aside out the from court. Yeah, taking it to each other, we don't really hate each other too much. That's the most disappointing part of a breakup is because you lost your friend, you know what I'm saying? And they're not even realizing like, you know, hey, you know, we were friends before this, you know what I'm saying? Let's not forget that, you know, but they tend to seem to forget it. Like we all did what we did to be where we are. Let's not forget that. And it's so far fucking forgotten that I'm like, yo, it's, that's that's what's more hurtful to me. When people ask me like, okay, well, what's the magic that has kept you guys together for 16 years? I'm, I'm gonna show you the exact reason why. Slide your camera to the to the to, to your left slightly, just a little bit. Keep on going. You see that? That is what kept us together for 16 years. Which is separate tour buses. 